Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. Today we will discuss the modulation index in an amplitude modulated system. Here we will see what happens when the modulation index in amplitude modulation is less than 1, equals to 1 or when it is greater than 1. Let me first define what is amplitude modulation. Amplitude modulation is a type of modulation where the amplitude of the carrier wave is varied as per the instantaneous value of the amplitude of the message signal. So in amplitude modulation, the information is contained in the amplitude variations uh, of the carrier wave. Now we will see what is modulation index in amplitude modulation. The modulation index in amplitude modulation system is defined as the measure of extent of amplitude variation about an unmodulated maximum carrier. Since we know that in amplitude modulation, we vary the amplitude of the carrier wave as per the instantaneous value of the modulated of the modulating signal that is the baseband signal. Modulating signal is also known as the message signal or baseband signal. So modulation index is just an extent of how much we uh, vary the amplitude of this modulated uh, modulating signal about the unmodulated maximum carrier wave. If it is uh, very high that is if it is uh, the modulation index is greater than 1 then it is called as the over modulated okay so in this case if it is over modulated then uh, we will not be able to get uh, or we will not be able to preserve the modulating uh, signal uh, received from the envelope of the modulated wave so to preserve the modulating signal received from the envelope of the modulated wave we need to have the modulation index less than or equals to 1 okay it should not be more than 1 the modulation index denoted by ma a stands for amplitude modulation and m is the modulation index okay so ma is defined as xt max divided by the maximum carrier amplitude okay here what is xt max here xt max is the maximum amplitude of the modulating or the message signal okay modulating signal is known as the message signal and a is what a is nothing but it is the maximum amplitude of the carrier wave okay so it is just the ratio of the amplitudes of the maximum amplitude of the modulating signal and the maximum amplitude of the carrier wave okay here we have uh, taken the maximum carrier amplitude as a okay we have denoted it with capital a so it is the ratio of these two amplitudes now we will see what is percentage modulation so percentage modulation is nothing but simply if we multiply the uh, absolute value of a modulation index by 100 then we will get the percentage modulation okay this is the modulation index in the form of percentage okay the modulation index is also known as by these three other different names it is also known as degree of modulation modulation factor and also by the name of depth of modulation okay, these three are same as we have seen that modulation index is defined by the ratio of the amplitudes of this xt max and the amplitude of the carrier wave okay maximum amplitude of the carrier wave so by this we can understand that uh, if it is equals to one if ma is equals to one then in that case these two would be same this xt max and a would be same and if it is less than one then the value of a would be more than the xt max and for it to be greater than one the xt max would be more than a okay but to preserve the modulating signal okay in the envelope of the am signal it is required that xt max should be less than or equals to a or we can say this is what this xt max divided by a is what if you transfer it to uh, in this in this direction then it would be xt max by a should be less than one that is m a should be less than equals to one or you can say that the percentage modulation should be less than equals to 100 okay 100 percent if you multiply it with 100 you will get the percentage modulation so to preserve the modulation modulating signal we need to we need uh, that uh, this condition should be followed 
ma should be less than equals to 1. If it is not followed, then we will get the distorted modulating signal and it would be called as the over modulated. Okay, so it should be followed. But if here it is written that but if if but if xt max is more than a, okay, if it is more than this one, that is m a is greater than one, or the percentage modulation is greater than hundred percent, then the message signal, that is the modulating signal, is not preserved in the envelope. So it should not happen. Okay, otherwise we will get distorted uh, modulating signal. The same thing is written here that if m is greater than 1 then the baseband signal that is the message signal recovered from the envelope would be distorted. This kind of distortion is called as the envelope distortion. Okay, This distortion is envelope distortion because we are not getting the uh, we are getting the distorted uh, modulating signal from the envelope of the modulated signal. The amplitude modulated signal with ma greater than 1 is known as over modulated signal because it has been over modulated in this case xt has become more than the maximum amplitude of the carrier wave. So now let's understand the concept with the sum of waveforms here let's see here here this is the waveform of a modulating signal we call this as message signal or the baseband signal also the simple waveform is a modulating signal and this one is the carrier wave as you can see the amplitude of this uh, carrier wave is constant and it is a high frequency wave acts as a carrier of the modulating signal now we will see both the cases of uh, this uh, modulating modulation index that is when m a is less than 1 and when m a is greater than 1 m a less than 1 means x t max since this is just the ratio of x t max and a so m a less than 1 means this x t max is less than a if this happens then the shape of this modulated wave would be like this as you can see here this is just the this is the envelope in amplitude modulation the amplitude of the carrier wave this is the carrier wave in green the amplitudes of the this uh, carrier wave varies as per the instantaneous value of this message signal as you can see if i join the peaks of this carrier wave then i will get the shape of this modulation modulating signal okay so i have two bands here this is uh, upper band upper side band this is the lower side band okay this is the envelope this is the envelope of this modulated wave by joining the carry uh, the peaks of this carrier wave okay at the receiving end we can detect or demodulate this message signal this in brown from the envelope of this modulated wave but to get it without any distortion to preserve this uh, modulating signal i need to have ma less than one that is the amplitude of this xt max should be this xt max should be less than a okay only when i would be able to detect it without any distortion so this is the case when this is the case when m is less than one now let me show you another case when m is greater than one this is called the over modulation so the message signal recovered from the envelope is distorted in this case we cannot get the uh, without uh, we cannot get the modulating signal without any distortion okay in this case if it is m is greater than 1 it means this xt max is more than the a more than a that is the amplitude of the carrier wave as you can see here here this is the brown this in brown is the modulating signal here in comparison to this uh, carrier wave this is the modulated wave and in comparison to this carrier wave amplitude the amplitude of this the xt max the maximum amplitude of this modulating uh, wave is more okay so the distortion is present in the mo modulating wave received from this modulated wave so let's see here this at this point where they where they cut here these two uh, these are two side bands and at the places where they cut so okay at these these are the two points this point and this point where the two bands cut each other so here we have uh, we see the phase reversal as you can see this is the shape and this 
this should have gone in this direction but at this point the phase reversal happens and it changes the direction it changes the phase and again it moves in this way and instead of at this point instead of moving in this uh, direction it changes the phase and it returns it it goes down again and at these two points you can see that the phase reversal happens so this was all about the different cases of modulation index uh, when when it is over modulated and when it is uh, when it is less than one or greater than one so we need to have uh, ma less than or equals to one uh, to uh, uh, to recover the modulating signal without any distortion from the envelope of the modulated wave so thank you for watching have a nice day friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye